Now we're considering abiotic and biotic factors that affect coastal ecosystems. Biotic, remember the word biology, they're tightly linked. So that means living factors, which affect coastal ecosystems. Whereas abiotic factors are non-living factors. And we'll talk about examples now. So living factors include marine plants, e.g. seaweed, marine animals, such as seagulls, and even microscopic organisms like zooplankton. Non-living factors include climate, and you can be really specific there, you can talk about temperature, soil pH, rainfall, wind levels, it could be salinity, so salt water, rock type, any minerals or nutrients present. So you can absolutely see this division between biotic, living and non-living factors, which are abiotic factors. Be prepared to talk about specific coastal ecosystems. So for example, if they ask about sand dunes, your living factors would include that marum grass. It could include any organisms which cause disease to that marum grass. It could include animals burrowing inside the sand dune. The non-living factors would definitely include climate, so temperature, soil, pH, rainfall, wind. Now we're considering how coastal ecosystems are threatened by people and their activities. So what human activities affect coastal ecosystems? Well, to briefly summarise, they can be subdivided into industrial activities, agricultural ones, so ones relating to farming, tourism activities, so people going on holiday, as well as deforestation, so that means cutting down vegetation and trees. So let's take each of these in turn. So number one, industry. Dumping of industrial waste into the sea causes water pollution. which can affect biodiversity and disrupt food chains. Remember, biodiversity relates to the variety of living organisms, whether that's plant or animals within a particular ecosystem. So obviously this dumping of industrial waste will reduce biodiversity. You also got issues with the need to protect industry against coastal erosion, meaning that you build hard engineering strategies such as sea walls, and that absolutely can damage the natural habitat. Building ports and land reclamation for coastal development can lead to the destruction of coastal environments, reducing biodiversity. So, from an industrial point of view, remember, people build ports, which contain ships, cargo ships, in order to move products around. Land reclamation is all about draining land of sea, meaning that you can then build on it, and clearly both of these things are going to destroy coastal environments and reduce biodiversity. Now we're going to move away from industry and consider tourism. So the first thing mass tourism can do is increase the levels of pollution on the beach. And that pollution, those polluting materials can enter the food chain and therefore endanger marine populations.
The tourism industry may lead to tourists scaring wildlife, which obviously has a negative impact on the coastal ecosystem. Let's now consider deforestation. And really, when we talk about coastal ecosystems, we're kind of talking about the trampling of vegetation. So that's when people walk around on sand dunes, for example, and sand dunes are very fragile. And um, if you damage those marram grasses, you're going to have fewer roots to hold down the sand which the dunes are comprised of. And then lastly, agriculture, so farming. Now, farming often uses chemical fertilizers. Now, remember, when it rains, these may be leached, washed into the sea or onto salt marshes. Make sure your answer is relevant to the exact question being asked. I'm just going to write leached into water, which leads to eutrophication. So that's the buildup of algae. When the algae dies, bacterial numbers increase using up all the oxygen, making that water very lacking in oxygen, therefore reducing aquatic life. So that's going to damage the ecosystem. Agriculture also involves the applying of pesticides. So these are chemicals which kill pests, like aphids. Now these are very toxic and they disrupt food chains. And if they build up in those food chains, two good words to use are biomagnification and bioaccumulation. Remember, with agriculture, you'll often find land reclamation just to provide more land for farming. So we can steal this answer here. So land reclamation for farming use leads to the destruction of coastal environments and therefore reduces biodiversity.